Hi, I'm Teresa and welcome to my channel. Today I'm filming an episode of Recent Reads, a series where I wrap up some books I've read recently. Um, today I'm doing the end of 2021, yes that's the right year, <laughs> so end of November into December reads, and talking about them all with you today. So this is my first video in the new year so I just want to take a moment to say Happy New Year, I hope you all have a wonderful 2022. I am hoping to be a lot more active this year and now that I've kind of had my break and find my creativity and joy and everything with creating content and reading again. I'm very excited, I hope you're excited and yeah let's just dive right in. So first up I read the first three books in the From Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. These are the only books that are published so far in this series and I just flew through them. They are chunky fantasy romances but they were just so addictive, I couldn't put them down and this was exactly what I was wanting from them, exactly the reason I picked them up. I wanted to just not be able to put a book down, I've not had that feeling in so long so it just felt so good to be so absorbed in the book and yeah they were just fun. They're definitely not something that I usually recommend on my channel but I've been branching out a bit and it's just something I wanted to read for myself that I really really enjoyed. So if you don't know this series follows Poppy who is the maiden and the maiden is this kind of almost figurehead of the government. She has no real freedoms or liberties but she is this like beacon to look towards and she, Poppy our maiden she's just not very happy in this role and she likes mischief, she likes finding things out and so she sneaks out one night to a kind of bar and there she meets Hawk and they have a little bit of a kiss and um, then she has to disappear and her identity is hidden this whole time, she always has to wear a veil. Um, but then Hawk is assigned as her personal bodyguard and so what she thought was a one off thing that would never happen again, she'd never see him again, becomes something very different. And I really really just enjoyed how this book went, how these books went, how the story progressed and developed, learning more about the world. You've got this kind of ruling class of almost vampires which is really interesting and then as the books go on you discover more creatures and lots of just, oh, I don't know, it was just so fun. It is steamy so be aware of that but I just really enjoyed reading it cannot wait for the next book, it comes out in March and I will be buying it straight away <laughs> and yeah it was just a good fun time. I gave all of these books four stars, really really enjoyed them. Next up I read An Arc and this was The Midnight Girls by Alicia Jasinka. This released at the end of December so it's available now, you can go buy it and this is this wonderful witchy sapphic story, it's a standalone fantasy and you follow two perspectives, Marinka and Zosha and they and the story takes place in this Polish inspired wind snow covered fantasy kingdom and oh god the writing the setting the atmosphere chef's kiss but anyway this story follows these two girls Marinka and Zosia they are both raised by witches from a young age and raised as rivals they each compete to be the first to find a prince and take his heart because a prince's heart has nutritional properties for a witch and so for this book the two have been sent after the same prince's heart and they arrive as friends not knowing each other's identity and then soon discover their identity and begin competing in earnest for this prince's heart and they are wicked, they do not care about the what's happening around them and how their actions are affecting other people and it's just I loved reading monstrous girls who don't have this kind of redemption arc, they're just monstrous. It's fantastic, I really really enjoyed it. As I said the writing, just gorgeous, so fairy tale ish I don't know how you describe it, and just like sucked me right in. I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed reading this. I gave it four stars as well. Um, I have a reading vlog where I read this book if you're interested in it I will leave a link to it down below if you want to know kind of more of my thoughts as the story progresses but I was very in love with this story and these girls and there is a romance between it, it is rivals to lovers and it is chef's kiss, definitely a slow burn as much as you can and a standalone and it's just a really wonderful book. I thoroughly 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 enjoyed it. 
Next up is a book that I did not enjoy so much and that is Trist Six Venom by Penelope Douglas. This is another sapphic book, um, it's written by Penelope Douglas who writes a lot of adult romance, a lot of quite smutty romance, so I thought I'd give her FF book a try. I wasn't a huge fan, primarily because this is a bully romance and these girls were not good to each other <laughs> at all. And I felt like I just couldn't forgive them as easily as they forgave each other because they really just did some horrible, horrible things. But yes, this follows a uh, dual perspective between Clay and Olivia. Clay is this like popular mean girl. She's rich, she's pretty, she looks like she has the perfect life. And Olivia, who's from like the other side of the tracks, she's from a poor family, they're quite involved in crime. And she goes to a posh private school alongside Clay and Clay's been bullying her for years. And yeah, they, how do they even start? <laughs> I've forgotten how they start, but something happens between the two of them and they begin to realise their feelings for each other and such. Yeah, I just, I wasn't a huge fan of it. I, again, I couldn't really get over the bully part and, you know, that's on me. That's not the book's fault because I just thought maybe it wouldn't be that bad, but it was that bad. Um, the other thing was, um, I felt it was very male centered for a lesbian romance book it was there's a lot of focus on males deriving pleasure from uh two women together and all of that there was some like sexual assault kind of stuff towards the end of involving men and it was just not fun to read and i just didn't enjoy reading that at all i will say that by the end of Clay and Olivia's romance arc, I was kind of rooting for them a bit. Like, they did get cute eventually, but you just had to go through so much shit to get there that I was like, I don't think this was worth it. So yeah, I gave this one two stars. Next up was another arc, and that is All of Us Villains by Amanda Foody and Christine Lynn Herman. I have been very highly anticipating this book, and I'm pleased to say it did not disappoint. This is pitched as like a dark, magical Hunger Games. So you follow four perspectives and each of them is a competitor in this magical competition. There's an additional three, so it's these seven families each nominate a child, like a Hunger Games age child, to go into this arena of a sort and fight to the death. And then the winning child <laughs> secures really important high magic for their family for the next 20 years until the next round. And so we follow four people going into this challenge and you really root for all of them. I find it so... I couldn't pick favourites. There was like one perspective I didn't particularly like, but even then I was still interested to read it. I wasn't trying to skip past it or anything. This book I really, really enjoyed. I love the magic system. It's basically a world where magic is very, very common. You can buy spells in department stores and they are trapped inside pieces of jewellery, like in a ring or in a locket, and they are cast, and it's just a very cool system, and you learn more and more as the book goes on, and I just thoroughly enjoyed it. I loved some of the uh, explorations of destiny and fate and breaking the cycle of the family line and such like that, and yes, I just really, really enjoyed this book. Again, it's villainous, you know, it's all of us villains, but you definitely got some good villainy, some good morally great characters, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I gave it four stars as well. And next up, I read The Cousins by Karen M. McManus. So I was home by this point, and I was like, I need to pick up an actual physical book. <laughs> and I was craving some kind of thriller aspects because I got a bit of that in all, in all of us villains, but not enough and I was like I want more so I picked up a thriller and I gave this three stars it was kind of like meh it was okay but it didn't blow me away in any way so this follows um four cousins no not four cousins three cousins sorry and their grandmother disinherited their parents very mysteriously very suddenly with no real like reason for it and the parents haven't been in contact with the grandmother since but these three cousins each re receive a letter from this mysterious enigma of a grandmother, she's very high society, inviting them to come and stay at her seaside resort and work for the summer and to meet her. So they all go and this book follows on trying to uncover the mystery of what happened to their parents for um, them to be disinherited and just completely cut off from their mother. And it 
you quickly learn that there's a lot of lies and secrets and such and I've been quite excited to read this from the premise but it just didn't blow me away. It was very okay and I found that I read One of Us is Lying by Karnak McManus. I read it when it came out and I gave it five stars. Then I read the sequel and I just thought it was boring so I gave it like two so I'm definitely kind of thinking and seeing a pattern here where I'm just not enjoying this author's books as much. So it's a shame but three stars to this one. Um, It was okay and I did read it really really quickly, it's very readable but it just didn't grasp me and blow me away. <laughs> Next up I read I Would Leave Me If I Could, a poetry collection by Halsey. I love Halsey, Halsey is my favourite artist, I am just constantly in love with her. So I finally picked this up and I have to say I wasn't like overwhelmed. I was expecting quite an emotional reaction but it was just okay. It's something I probably would listen to read again. I listened to the audiobook while reading and I really recommend that because having Halsey's voice in your ear was just like impeccable <laughs> and it really gave more meaning to the poems hearing how they said them like the way in which they said them and I just really did enjoy my like couple of hours just sitting listening to Halsey talk to me in my ear like that was a wonderful experience but the poetry itself I I'm not a poetry reader I don't really know how to talk about poetry but it was okay poetry is not hugely my thing so I wasn't expecting you know to be blown away but I did expect a little bit more emotion from myself but yeah, I didn't rate this because I just don't know how to rate it. But yeah, it was fun. I'd listen to it again. Next up I read I Was Born For This by Alice Oseman. I really loved this one. I considered giving it five stars but settled on four. This was just so fun and gripping and I just really, really enjoyed it. This follows two perspectives. We have got Angel who is a fangirl of this band called The Ark. She is in love with them. They are her life. And we follow her going to the concert for this band, The Ark, meeting her online friend to do so and then actually meeting one of the members of the band. So we also follow Jimmy who is one of the members of the band. He is trans and I love him. Love him. <laughs> um, and we follow him kind of dealing with his anxieties about the band and how their success is you know detrimental almost to his mental health and his, his feeling of security and you just get a lot of inside perspective on a boy band and how they're treated by you know their companies the record labels how they're treated by fans how they feel about the fans it's very interesting to get this kind of inside versus outside perspective through Jimmy and Angel and I just really did enjoy reading this um, the two meet which was very fun and you kind of get this kind of deconstruction of this wonderful idea that you can build up of someone you look up to that you don't really know. So I had a lot of very interesting conversations about that, about online friends, and I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I want a sequel following the band as they go into the kind of next step in their journey because I fell in love with these characters so much and oh chef's kiss it was so good uh yeah and alice has kind of like teased that they might write a sequel so i'm very hopeful very very hopeful so you know what we'll see but for now i've really thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed this next up i read the dark tide also by alicia jacinka uh this is her debut novel and the midnight girls is her sophomore novel and I can definitely see how she's improved in The Midnight Girls because I did prefer that one but this one was still very good. I still gave it four stars. I've been very highly anticipating this one for a while. You follow two perspectives again but your kind of primary perspective is Lena and she lives on this island where it is slowly being taken in by the sea and uh, slowly being drowned by the sea. And every year a boy is chosen as sacrifice to the sea to kind of tame it by the witch queen and the witch queen is Eva, our second perspective. And this year Lena is determined to stop her brother and then her crush from being taken by the witch queen and so she volunteers herself 
and you follow her and the queen becoming a bit closer once Alina is taken by her and it's just lovely. I really did enjoy it. You've got a kind of grumpy sunshine relationship between Lena who's like sunshine and a, dan a ballet dancer and everything and then Eva who literally took her heart out, cast it away in a bottle in the sea never to be seen again and oh it's just good sapphic vibes. I really did enjoy it. I read it really quickly and yeah four stars as well to this one. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a lot of good four star reads recently and I'm very pumped about that. I'm kind of enjoying reading so much more again and I'm loving it. And finally I read volumes one and two of The Avant Guards by Carly Usden and Noah Hayes. This is a graphic novel series. It's available on Scribd if you want to read it yourself. My link to join is down below if you want to get 60 days free. Um, this follows a basketball team in a kind of arts college and them trying to form and then each of the like personal problems of each of the members of the team and it's incredibly queer there's not a single straight person in sight you've got lots of sapphics you've got non-binary character and this was a lot of fun I did just give it three stars because it didn't really I didn't really connect with any of the characters it was felt very surface level to me at times but it was fun and it got me my last two books to reach a hundred and that's what matters <laughs> but yeah it was it was okay it was good fun but it's not something I particularly read again it was just you know a fun couple of hours but that's all it was so yes that has been all of the books that I read in the last part of 2021 all of my December reads and the kind of end of my November reads and yes it's been a pretty good like reading month for me in December I think especially getting home and being like I need to finish my challenge and being able to read physical books again was such a good feeling so I'm trying to tackle my TBR shelves on my bookshelf because they're a bit out of control <laughs> and especially considering I then won't be able to read them for four months because I'm going away to Spain at the end of this month so yes so that has been my recent reads I am hoping to get back into wrap-ups in the new year we shall see but that is my plan I have hope okay <laughs> I, I feel like I've been reading and up and I plan on uploading a lot more consistently so I should be able to but again we shall see we never know and yes you will find reviews of some of the arcs that I've read down below as well as links to all of these books on Goodreads if you want to check them out there is also links to my social media if you want to follow me elsewhere I'm particularly excited about what I'm doing on my Instagram recently so come along, join, see what I'm up to and yes thank you very very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you with another video soon.